Wild Creative, Chica here, aka Tony, and today I have a collective haul. It's Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby, so stay tuned. Okay, let's get started here. So, um, I'm drinking out of my cute, cute, cute little cup from Walmart. Oh my gosh, $3.98, guys, in the Valentine's section. <sighs> I don't know what happened. I don't know. I saw it there. I just picked it up. I didn't look to see what else they had. So I went to another Walmart and I find this. It's got a donut on the top. Same price, $3.98. This one says, you, me, donuts. You, you, me, donuts. Whatever. I don't know. Then anyway, is it a cute with a donut? I did. Oh, I had to get it. Now, at that one store, it could have been there. I just didn't check because they didn't have a whole lot of, um, you know, Valentine's Day stuff out yet. And I was in a different town. I was by myself. I didn't want to stay over very long because I was looking for certain things. And I don't even think I even found what I was looking for. <laughs> but anyway, so, but I did buy this. This really, like, I thought was stinking cute. And then I found the donut the other place. And this morning, I made me a protein shake with peanut butter powder and Slim Fast and Javi Coffee and something else. A pin, you know, a little bit of peanut butter in there, but oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Because, ooh, that's some strong peanut butter. Ooh. Anyway, um, I like the peanut butter frozen coffees at Dunkin' Donuts, okay? This is just as good, guys. This is just as good. So, I mean, like, um, you know, those frozen coffees, like a large one, has almost 900 calories, guys. I checked that the other day. I said, OMG. But, you know, I'm just, um, I'm just trying to watch what I eat now, and I'm not really on keto. Um, I see Sherry, Twisted Gypsy. She's losing a lot of weight on uh, the one meal a day plan. And honestly, to be honest with you all, I only eat about one meal a day, honestly. But my husband says that I snack too much, you know, so it's like, oh, yeah. I probably do because like like almonds and stuff like that. So I really need to watch that. But I told him the other day we were sitting there, I think we were at a fast food restaurant. And I was telling him, I said, you know, I have gained a few pounds. But I said, if I could just get back down to where I was wearing my cute jeans that I had, you know, was wearing. I said, I will be happy. I don't have to be a skinny person. I never will be a skinny person. That's just, you know, that's not my body type. So it is what it is, guys. Because I tell you, I know I'm jabbering, guys. I And I do this sometimes. But anyway, and oh my gosh, this haul. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, I don't know. Maybe I should make this a tea Tuesday. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, um. I'm not drinking tea though, but yeah, we can do a little tea Tuesday here. So anyway, so my son, my oldest son come over yesterday and um, we were reminiscing through some of the um, photo albums that I had made them as children. And um, the other day I was like, you know, decluttering and stuff like that. And um so I opened up one photo album and had a picture of my son who passed away and I just about lost it, guys. I, I told him I was crying. I was crying. I said, I can't do this. I can't. It hurt so bad, you know, to see him as a baby. Hang on. And I'm sorry. I don't like to be a Debbie Downer, guys, but I'm telling you what. Going through the, something like this, it changes you. It changes you. It makes you see things differently. And like, I'm, I forgive, I forgive people, you know, like I don't want to be, I don't want to hold grudges against people and stuff. Um, I, you know, I, I just, you know, I just want to, you know, to be friends with everybody, but I know that's impossible because not everybody's going to like you, you know. But anyway, so Whew, I got to get out of this situation here, guys. So anyway, we were looking at the photo albums. It brought back so many wonderful memories because, you know, my kids, whenever they were little, that was like the best time, best time of my life. They were so precious. 
and seeing my son, <clears throat> well, my oldest son, we were laughing about certain things because I, I'm the type that is sentimental. I keep everything. And like, um, oh God, hang on. So I do keep everything. Like whenever they were little, you know, like, um, things that I couldn't like pack away, you know, like the macaroni pictures and the, the cereal pictures and stuff like, I, you, you can't keep all that. You know, I tried <laughs> and with pretzels and stuff, I remember I tried, but you know, that's impossible. So I would take pictures of them. So if some of y'all out there, and I know a lot of y'all have little kids and stuff, uh, the best thing to do is like put, you know, take a picture of them with a holding it and put it in your photo album. And that's what I did. So I would save all of their like little uh, rewards, everything. It was, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just such a sentimental fool, I guess. But uh, I would actually make their photo albums and, um, you know, with uh, fabric and, um, you know, I, I made them out of notebooks. And um, hold on and I'll get one and I'll show you. Okay, so... Um, this was a photo album that I about had a nervous breakdown over. Um, I have to heal. You, you got to heal. I, I talked to my um, son's former wife, okay? I just love her. She's amazing. Anyway. So, this here is one of the photo albums that I made. And this is my son who passed away. He's newborn there, my precious, my precious AJ. But, so, <laughs> I don't know what picture I opened up. I don't remember. It was him sitting there. Um, anyway, I made these photo up. I made, like, one for each of them. I really did. Um, I'm just trying to find maybe a picture, but I tell you what. These photo albums bring back so many memories, and I'm also making them for my uh, grandsons as well. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. So, this is just his bait. This is just his newborn album, okay? Um, whew. I'll, I'll just take one. I'll just take one of these out and just show you, okay? These are these are old, okay? These were back in 1988. And, um, here's some pictures. Look how old they are. But that's me in the hospital. Uh, that's my AJ. Um, I did breastfeeding. So, and that's my husband right there. Whew. He was more of a Christmas baby. And, um, he was, he was just a beautiful baby. And he was, he was a great human being, okay? But I, I made these, and I, I'm going to make some for my grandsons. I already made some for my other grand for my other grandsons, you know. But I am going to make some more. I'm going to get some pictures done through the Shutterfly app and do that. I hate going to Walmart and getting pictures done. I can't even get this put back together, guys. I'm a, I'm a, like a, a blubbering mess. Um, this is right before I went to the hospital with him. Right here, it was around Christmas time. <laughs> outfit I can't believe oh my gosh I was telling my oldest son last night I said I said I can't believe some of those clothes I wore and he was cracking up I said what happened but I tell you what some of them I said dang I, I was much thinner I said dang but then I you know I was exercising and all that you know and I can do it again okay like I said this the you know last year it was I, I had been really good I was on the road to losing weight I was doing really really well I had gotten down a couple of sizes and I'm still that size it's just I'm just you know my pants are not like you know they're not comfortable whenever I wear them and that's why I want to lose some some weight you know I told my husband I said I don't have to be skinny I just want to lose some weight but I've never been skinny okay I have never been skinny guys I've ne never been thin um, and I, and I'll be honest with you, the, 
being a teenager, the, the smallest size that I ever was was a size 13, okay? And then the biggest size I ever was was a 22. But now I'm a 16, okay? So, yeah. But anyway, um, <laughs> oh my gosh. There's me after I had him in the hospital. I, was, I don't know. I was... I was, I was, I was over the moon, you know, um, but I tell you guys, I'm, I'm, and, and I'm, I'm telling you from my heart, love your children. They're going to make mistakes. Okay. They are going to make mistakes. You know, once they get out of your house and stuff, they're going to do what they want to do. You, you don't have no control over, the, over them, but, like, while you have them at home, teach them the right and the wrong ways. But, even though me and my husband, I feel like we were great parents, okay, because we had teachers come up to us and says, can you write a book on how you raised your kids? And I said, what? She said, yes, yeah. said, your children are totally amazing you know they're just you know they're they're so polite they have manners because my husband he always instilled you know for them to have some manners always you know say yes sir yes ma'am and all that you know um but they they reach the reaches a certain point whenever they become teenagers um that's like a turning point really because you know, they're, they're going to meet other people. They're going to have friends. Uh, maybe friends that you don't agree with. And they get in trouble. They start, do, uh, you know, having bad habits. <sighs> so, yeah. But, you know, it, it's just, it's, I just, I just want you all to know. Tell your kids that you love them. Try to do the best that you can. You got to. I mean, you had these kids. I mean, they look up to you. My husband and I, we tried to be good role models for our kids. I mean, my husband and I, we don't smoke. We don't drink. You know, my husband has occasional beer, okay? But, I mean, as far as, you know, like, you know. And, of course, you know, like, you know, when it, nobody's ever going to get along. Of course, my husband and I, we had our arguments. But we didn't go crazy. You know what I'm saying? And we tried to... Certain things that happen in the family, we would keep that from our kids because you know they some things they don't need to know about other relatives and stuff like that. So we just kind of you know we we wanted them to be innocent. We wanted them to be, you know, carefree, no worries, you know, and stuff like that. So th that's how we raise our kids, and we did the best that we could. Children do not have a Whenever they're born, they don't have a booklet that comes. With, I mean, you could read books, books, but it doesn't have a booklet that, that comes with your child. You know, every child is different, okay? Every one of our sons is different, totally different. Um, our oldest son, he is like a super-duper role model. He, I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, he was like the perfect child. He was a perfect, um, he was a perfect son. Um, he did not get in trouble. He went to school. He had a part-time job. He paid for his truck. Um, then after he left home, he put himself through school through uh, and became a mechanic. And now he teaches at a college over in um, Bradenton. He's an instructor. And uh, he's well-loved over there. He loves his job. He's amazing at it. And we are so, so proud of him. Um... So, like, each child is different. You know, uh, Anthony, he went into the Marines. He was a U.S. Marine. He wanted to become a Marine. We were so proud. So proud. And uh, he was in there for five years. And he worked on, like, the um, instrument panels, you know, for planes. He was in the air wing. So, and then he met his wife over there, and he decided to, you know, they lived over there, and, and, and they were married for nine years. But um, I, I'm not going to get into the details of, you know, why they got a divorce or, you know, that's, you know, that's, that's private. But, but they still loved each other, and she was there for him till the end. 
she was um even though she's in another relationship they were still best friends and she she messaged him all the time she was there for him if he needed her and um and even there whenever he passed away um we 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 called her and um she she was like it was it was it was not good guys but we wanted her to be able to tell him goodbye and she did and she did and that's all that matters that's all that matters you know um our our um and then you know circumstances happened the reason they passed away i can't get into it because i you know i, I don't know really all the details i really don't um so but you know it, my son was in he was in pain let me just put it this way he had he had hurt his knee in the marines he never got it fixed so he was in a lot of pain okay so yeah he was in a lot of pain with his knee but he was tough he's tough like he was tough like my my husband my tough he has like a high pain tolerance you know so yeah but um like i said i i'm not going to get into the reasons why he passed away because like i said i don't know all the answers yet because we're waiting we're waiting on the um report um uh, what do you call it it's not it, it's like i guess the medical examiner's report because they, they they're not sure yet why okay so anyway so my third son oh my gosh <laughs> my third son um he looks like Adam Levine, guys. But see, here's the thing. All three of my sons have beards. You know, like, it, it was so funny because, like, if one son did something, then the other other sons would have to. So my middle son, Anthony, he started growing a beard. So my other sons, um, my oldest son, he decided to grow a beard. And then my youngest son, after he got out of the Marines, because he is a Marine, too, um, he decided to grow a beard. So all three of them have beards at the same time. My kids, there's something else. Anyway, my youngest son, very intelligent. Very, all three of my sons are were intelligent. Are intelligent. Anthony was very, very intelligent as well. So my youngest son, he's um, he's he's uh, he works on Ospreys up in North Carolina. Very, very smart young man. Um, but he's a rebel. He is a rebel. That boy. Woo, and he gave me a run for the money being a teenager um yeah it was like oh it was a lot it was a lot guys it was a lot um so anyway i'm not going to get into all that either but i love my sons i love my family everybody loves their kids well most everybody you know i can i can't imagine not loving your children you know all they ever wanted out of life was to become a mom and a wife, you know, and I did, I did, um, that's all I ever wanted, and God blessed, blessed me and my husband with three wonderful sons, wonderful, so just, just hold your kids tight, tell them that you love them, try to support them, no matter what, try to support them, try to be there for them, you know, so anyway, guys, I think um, that's all going to be my tea Tuesday. It's not really a tea because I'm drinking my shake, but I'm fixing to do a haul. I was going to do a haul with this, but then all of a sudden I thought, oh, maybe I could do a tea Tuesday. <laughs> um, yeah, because like uh, Life of Patty sent me some tea. I have tea over there, and I do drink tea sometimes, but I got my shake this morning, so I decided to do, to do that. So, oh my goodness. So anyway, so today I'm like cleaning the house and I've got like little projects in there to do. I, I got to do whew, a couple more whipped cream thingies, uh, Valentine's things. Oh my gosh, that's, that whipped cream just drives me absolutely crazy, guys, because it's either too wet or it's too dry and it won't go through the tube and it's like OMG. But I did do that one cup, you know, and I didn't do the swirly things. So I'm going to try to do the swirly type uh, now. I'm going to try to do a video on that maybe. <laughs> I don't know. 
but um, I want to get that done. And plus, I'm painting some of the little ceramic vehicles from the Dollar Tree. I'm trying to paint those. Those are not the easiest thing to paint, but I'm trying to do it, you know, because I, I think they're stinking cute because it's a little mail truck. It's a cupcake. It's a little gnome. And what was the other one? Or what the other one was I had like four in there anyway dollar 25 each I've never painted them before but I said I'm gonna try this I'm gonna do this so you know it's like ceramics or whatever so anyway guys um I appreciate y'all stopping by and seeing my cry face I'm sorry you know like I just um grief is funny and you can ask Sadie sweet Sadie J too because she lost her mother Um, and my heart goes out to her, you know, I've, I've lost my mother. I've lost all my parents, you know, but nothing, nothing hurts as bad as losing your child. So anyway, guys, you know, see how it is? Like, grief, it comes and goes. Sometimes I'm happy as a lark, and other times I'm, like, crying like a crazy person, you know? But I don't mean to. But death is a part of life. And God, and I believe in God fully, you know? I, yes, I do. God, he, he gives us our kids as gifts. As a gift, they're a gift from God. And whenever he decides to take somebody home, he's taking his child back home. And that's what, it was my son's time. I, we know it. We realize it. We accept it. And we thank God for um, taking him in the way that he did. So, yeah. But anyway. Whew, this is a terrible Tea Tuesday, guys. Terrible Tea Tuesday. But anyway, I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, I mean, like, you know, I'm keeping it real here, you know, and I know this is a little bit raw, but I'm trying to get the message out there to people to, like, I know some of your kids are probably giving you problems. They're probably a pain in the you-know-what. But you know what? Those are your children. And, like, <clears throat> nowadays, I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling for you guys. I really, really am. Because nowadays, I think it's even harder to raise teenagers. You know, with all this stuff going around and stuff, you know. And I'm not going to get into that on here. But, um, I, you know, I watch a lot of TikTok. And I see a lot of people, their children are passing away from that drug. A certain drug. It's, it's, just, it's just heartbreaking. But I get on TikTok. Now, honestly, I didn't want to be on TikTok. <laughs> and I'm not doing any videos on TikTok, okay? But, um... Because I really don't really know how. And I and I see uh, Thrifty Tiffany on there. I see Life of Patty on there. Kathy's favorite things. I see them doing videos and stuff. <clears throat> but honestly, like, you know, I, you know, I could, you know, advertise my uh, YouTube channel on there. But I don't, you know, not yet. I, I'm just not, I'm just not ready. It's like I'm, I'm still trying to motivate myself to get back into doing things, you know. But I do sympathize with people on there that's lost their kids. So I go in there and I tell them, I said, I'm sorry for your loss because I know how you feel. A lot of times, like whenever somebody's child dies, like you can't tell them, I know how you feel unless you've been through it. And I do. Like my husband says, we're in a club that nobody wants to be a part of. And he tells his friends out of work, he said, this is a club that you do not want to be a part of. So anyway, um, so anyway, so my son's ashes are here at home. Um, my, my oldest son made him the, the most beautiful box ever. And he's here with us and it gives, it brings us peace. It brings us a lot of peace that he's here. And I know that he is our guardian angel because he watches over us. And we have signs all the time. There's signs all the time that he's around. So anyway, guys. I'm going to I'm going to cut this off cuz I got to get this daggum Dollar Tree haul and a Hobby Lobby haul taken care of and I I got stuff to do. I got stuff to do. I was like <laughs> I got dishes to do. I got laundry to do. <laughs> anyway, guys. 
um anyway i appreciate everybody for watching and please like give me a big thumbs up guys it helps my channel to grow and um i appreciate everybody for watching and i will catch you all on my next video and uh, y'all have a wonderful day and remember tell your people tell your persons that you love them love you guys god bless you